Hello and welcome back to another tutorial by Overthink. Uh, this time I want to show you how you can move your WordPress.com blog off of WordPress.com into another host if you need to do that. Uh, one of the main reasons for this is so you can add AdSense to your site because that's not allowed on WordPress.com, understandably. Uh, but if you want to do that, you can always move it to another host, and I have another video showing uh, the best options for that. But this is a video on how to move your site out of WordPress.com because it's a little bit tricky to find the options. So let me show you how that you do that. If you go up here, I'm logged in. I just created a, a new blog. I don't usually use WordPress.com much, but I made a new blog to show you how this works. There's a little menu here. So anyway, here's a post. If you go up to my site, you have to be logged in to do this. You'll see this uh, status bar on the side here. And what you want is WP Admin right here. The second link here down in the admin section. You want to click this, WP Admin. This is what it normally looks like when you're using your own WordPress site. This is actually WordPress software in the middle here. So what you really want is if you scroll down, you'll see a listing for tools. And inside tools, you'll see a listing for export. That's what you want to click. So uh, you go to tools, then export, and click that. Okay. So this option is so you can pay them a ton of money to do it all for you. Um, and this is a self-hosted WordPress.org installation, blah, 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 blah. Don't care. What you want is the second option here, which is export. Create an XML file containing your posts and comments and save it or import it into another WordPress blog. So what you want to do is back up your site this way, and then you can import it to your own WordPress blog, let's say on Bluehost or on HostGator. Uh, that's what you do. So you click Start Export. Now you can tell it what you want to export exactly. Uh, all content. So this will do posts, pages, comments, custom fields, terms, navigation menus, and custom posts. I don't know if it includes media in the all content. So we'll have to try that because media would be like your photos that you've embedded in your posts, the things that you've posted on your different posts. Uh, you, may, you may have to do that separately. We'll see in a second here. Download export file. Okay, so the, that's the XML file. That's just the code to recreate your blog. So let's see if we do media. And you can tell it start date and end date. I don't have any in here. But you can also download your media folder. Ah, oh, very interesting. Let's see what's in there. Uh, all right. Let's let's see. Let's open this. Let's open this in like a code editor and see what's going on there. Oh, where'd you go? Now let's open this with. Oh, let's do like Notepad. Okay. So here is instructions on how to use this. This is an XML file. So uh, it tells you go into administrator, go to import in the WordPress tools. You have to activate the importer. It's kind of like a plugin. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So these are all the links and stuff. Uh, this will be here you go. Here's where the images will be. So it will link to the images on your WordPress.com blog. So you probably don't want to delete things off of your WordPress.com because it'll it'll still have the pictures over there and they won't really import. It'll just sort of link over to them, which is okay. Okay, so what we're going to do here. All right, so we've we've exported our blog, as you can see at the bottom here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my actual blog here. And I have my own WordPress setup here. This is actually on Bluehost right now. And I will log in. Okay, so here's my actual WordPress blog for overthink.io. That's the uh, site you've probably seen. And what you can do, you see you have plugins here. And that tells you that this is WordPress.org, which is your self-hosted version. On the WordPress.com version, you do not have plugins where you can see a list of plugins. Uh, let's see if it'll load here. There we go. So you can see that I've got automatic video posts. And then down here, I've got Google AdSense. So you can see I've got that plugin working. So this is not WordPress.com. This is WordPress.org or my own domain, which is overthink.io. So now what you can do to import your blog or your WordPress blog from here on this side, 
that looks like this. You can import that over to here by going to Tools. Again, we did the Export option before. Now we can do the Import option. And it'll say, okay, what do you want to import from? Now, this is great. You can import from Blogger. You can import from all kinds of different things. But WordPress is right here at the bottom. So we want to click that. And it says, well, hold on. You haven't done this before, bro. Let's put this in there. So what you want to do is you click Install Now. And it will download that plugin for you and install it as a plugin. See, here you go. It's actually a plugin. Activate it. And I just clicked the link for Activate there. And now it says import WordPress. So if we go back to here again, import WordPress and go to WordPress. Now we've got that plugin installed. So it'll work this time. We don't have to reinstall that plugin. And what we do is it'll say, okay, you need to choose an XML file. How funny. We already have an XML file we just got from the other site. So choose file. We can actually scroll down to wherever I saved it. Where'd it go? So much stuff on this computer. Oh my goodness. Okay. Where is the WordPress? We just, there it is. Okay, so we click the Overthink IO WordPress blog open. And so it's right here. It's listed so we can see it. And we can say upload file and import. Okay, and it'll say create a new user to import these, these posts to. That's helpful if you want to. But I can just use my current user. And uh, I can say download and import file attachments. So if I had images, that would actually download and put those in there too, which might take a lot longer. So for now, let's just do the content even though we don't have images. Submit. Okay, all done. Have fun. Yay. So if we go to our posts, we should have that post I created over on WordPress. Here it is, my first post. And then if we look at that, the content of it, was hi everyone welcome so now that post is living on our brand new wordpress blog that's actually on bluehost you see here's the post right there i have a special theme and stuff and there's my adsense ads you can see at the top and on the sides here that's my adsense ads on my site so you can see that actually works and then we have the post here from today this is february 3rd and that is where i got that is the post I originally created over here on WordPress.com. Here, this post ended up on my new site over here just by using the export feature in the WP Admin and then the import feature, and now it's here. So that's all there is to it. Uh, it's not much harder than that. Uh, you may run into issues. If you do, for sure, let me know, and I will see if I can help you out. Uh, I try to answer all the comments I can, and I try to do videos that are specifically for issues that you run into. So please let me know. I would love to help you out with a video or uh, by comments, and we can chat that way, or we can figure out another way to help you get this working. So anyway, um, thank you for watching, and uh, let me know how it goes. G uh, leave a comment. Tell me how it worked for you. If it worked out good, that's great. If not, let me know, and I can help if I, if I have a chance. And uh, I usually do. Uh, it might take me a few days, but we'll, uh, I usually get to it. So um, let me know if I can uh, help give you a hand with that, and I will. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.